Hey, welcome back everyone. This is the ninth and final round of the Swiss here. And we're on the play. Uh, I don't know if this is good enough. There's no acceleration. I'm gonna mold it. I like this better. I'll start with turn one spyglass off of two. Hopefully turn two to sue the ancient tomb. And then turn three have an uncounterable Golos. So I think I'm putting back Thought Knot here. Now maybe the cataracts are better to put back. I've seen the user mental misstep. I've seen the name often, but I don't remember exactly what they play. Yeah, I'm gonna put the cataracts back. I don't know why I'm like randomly afraid of this right now, but if they're like sneak and show, I'd like to have like the thought not to put it in. Maybe that's an irrational fear though. I feel like my play has been pretty good today for the most part. Which is nice, because I feel like I've been punting a lot the last couple of challenges, and these times I've streamed. It's pretty relaxing just playing on my own, not with a bunch of people watching. Uh, the list... I can't say if there was any specific thing I would definitely change. I like this emphasis on the Cavern of Souls. I think that's one of the strongest aspects of this deck. Oh, come on. I'd like to get a 7-2 finish with this. Let's put the Cataracts back. Opponent mold to 6. Yeah, so the Stompy list is not meant to be, like, a replacement for the Reclaimer list. They're completely different decks, different archetypes. But at the moment, I think the Stompy list is, like, the better, the better deck. It's doing a lot of things that I really like. Like, most importantly, it's just throwing threatening spells, like, out right off the bat. Like, our best turn one plays happen with Ancient Tomb, which happens fairly often via Once Upon a Time. And just the opponent has to like start uh, chugging through their counter wall on your like turn one play, on your chalice or spyglass. It definitely like feels good. I feel like the reclaimer list is a little bit slow right now. And uh, it's annoying like how you have to spend like your second turn green sunning for a reclaimer, but then they can just use like a bolt or a sword to plowshares to answer it. Some easy answer for a large part of the deck. But yeah, I'll definitely get back to the Reclaimer list again some other time. This one's just, uh, all the creatures in this list, that's all how I like used to always build my post decks with these like one time come to play triggered abilities of creatures. Like always prime time, but Golos and uh, Rejuvenator I'm actually really glad those cards have, like, a home here. I think they're pretty powerful creatures. My opponent is really thinking over the six-card hand. So I'm going to start two spy glass. There's the dumpsters. I kept six. Oh. 
Skull, Manamorpho, Swords, Library, EE. Uh, I guess Wasteland. <laughs> I'm so confused. Yeah, I think we just say like, Wasteland here. Another spyglass. What am I saying with that though? I feel like I should just play it out here. I could see if there's anything. Yeah, let's see what they draw. Explosives? And that probably would be not a bad name here. Storm. All right, they're probably going to find their mana. Uh-oh, it's not good for them. All right, let's go get a Caracas with this Golos. Hopefully they don't find their, their white mana for their swords next turn. Right, looks like they probably will. They shuffled. Ooh. Now let's play out this Rejuvenator here. Suva. I guess I might as well just make Eldrazi's uncounterable. Bounce my my Golos end of turn. I think I just do that now before they can respond to swords. Cloud post. I'm just bounce it now. Actually, I can, I can afford to wait just because Chalice has it covered. Uh, 
bad is this? White. So if we bounce this now. They're voting for Chalice. Okay. It's not bad, not bad at all. And go to four here. Or go to two even. Probably can. And swing. Trying to think how I can best do this here. And if I get glimmer posts, then I mean I want a chalice on one if possible, and I just basically want to play out everything in my hand this turn. So say I just use these three to play Golos. If I go get Ayabugan, then via the other cards, I can play everything. That's probably actually worth it, too, because I want to take the Uro out. I want to get the Chalice down. Yeah, I'm going to go to two here. I guess I should have led with Chalice. Force. Forest pitching Uro. Swords, swords, swords. Snapcaster. I feel like I must take that Snapcaster. The swords can actually kind of help you here, in a sense.
bad. I think I'm just gonna... I don't think I'm gonna play this out, though. I think I got enough things covered, and I'd rather not tap a second Ancient Tomb when I go to search up here. I'm gonna start a little mod here, kill this Uro. three here. I guess this library, probably. Hopefully we don't have a Snapcaster here, but... Another Uro. It's annoying. If they were to swords, my Ulamog here, I probably would just let them. Yeah, this is some spice. I like it. Uh, what do I need to bring in? Maybe Force of Vigors. I feel like there might be, like, Back to Basics or something weird. Or is there Manamorphose also? Is this comboing? Probably some number of these cards. I don't really know what beyond that. Did I see Wasteland? I don't think there is Wasteland. I might cut the spy glasses actually. Yeah, I'm so confused. What is this? Yeah, maybe just these forces figures, forces for spy glasses is sufficient. And these kind of slower grindy matchups, I like the thought nuts in those. 
seems like a pretty good matchup for for me. I mean, they did say they're scared of this matchup. Who knows if I actually want this many Force of Vigors. Might be better to hedge a little and just, like, keep two Spyglass and just bring two Forces. They got kind of mana screwed at the start of that game, so I feel like we did not see that deck at its full power. This is a fun last round, I would say. It's been a fun tournament. Definitely be happy to uh, post this event on my YouTube channel. Hope a lot of people check it out. This hand looks good. Wouldn't mind finding like a uh, a rejuvenator off this once upon a time. I feel like that would bridge us pretty nicely to this prime time. Walk into five. Just get the forest here. I'm gonna definitely turn on chalice here. Copy this tomb here. In two turns, be two turns away from this prime time. And also, this uh, would allow me to cast Golos next turn as well if I draw that. This deck is all about Vesuva, gotta say. Really love Vesuva here. Like in most cases, you ex just expect Vesuva to copy Cloud Post. But it really uh, synergizes well with the all the other lands in this deck. Cavern, like Ancient Tomb when you need it to. All right, let's get this prime time down. Giant. I think I just get Cloud Post here. Possibly Cloud Post, I. Just in case they do some like Holverture, remove my hand bullshit. I like to have I already out.
Damn. Should tell me what they're playing. Oh, okay. We're out of this recording. Oh.
I'd like to say I was gonna, I would edit that out, but I, and I know I'm too lazy to try and figure that out. But yeah, seven two. That was a good finish. So I think we're probably in the top sixteen. Knock on wood. I guess I shouldn't say so just yet. But yeah, that was the best finish with the Stompy list so far, thus far. So yeah, I hope you enjoyed YouTube channel. Uh, I'm going to post this right away. And then if you're watching this today on March 20th, be sure to check out my stream for the Sunday Legacy Challenge tomorrow. Where I'll probably be running this list back just because this is such a great performance today. Uh, anything in this list I would change? Probably not. I feel like we did not get screwed over uh, finding a green source at all today, which is nice. So I think this is key, having these four caverns. Or this is uh, acceptable. Playing with four cavernous souls alongside four basic forests. And, uh, yeah, I don't care what people say. I like Butcher of Truth. I think it's... Uh, there was a match earlier today, it was uh, just in a random league I was playing in, where I had Chasm and Tabernacle both out in play, and the fact that Kozilek has that Shuffle Your Graveyard and Trigger was actually super relevant, because it allowed me to first sacrifice the Chasm, like not pay its cumulative upkeep, and then not pay Kozilek's Tabernacle cost, which then shuffled the Chasm back into the library, and I was able to re-get the Chasm off of a Golos. So, I mean, I know it's just, like, one random anecdotal example, but I played with this card for so long, and I just have become accustomed to the things it brings to the table. The uh, Shuffle Trigger, the Annihilator, these are all, like, pretty relevant things in uh, different situations. So, yeah. I was a fool for running a second Ballista here in the past. This is, uh, this is where I'm going to keep the list for the time being. Kind of want to write, like, a, a brief, like, deck primer guide for this list. And I know I said I was going to do that for the Reclaimer list, and that's still coming too, but... Yeah, I promise I'll get that done. I just want to do it as a personal project. But I'm definitely more motivated about this Stompy list right now. So yeah, thanks everyone for watching. Definitely uh, keep uh, up to date with my YouTube channel and also check out my Twitch stream for some live 12 post action. Thanks a lot.